Okay. I guess that the virtual network gateway is ready. So now what we can do is we can go to the local network gateways and go to connections and create a connection here or on this side of the plate I can go to the connections and add a connection here it's the same thing so I'll go to this way connection and add a connection and name is site to site VPN site to site IPsec is the connection type and this time I can I'm see I'm able to select Azure Network Gateway and local network gateway is already selected. Shared secret key, which will be used to establish IPsec tunnel. So we can use whatever. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Shared secret key. Resource group is fine, location and click OK. And it's creating the connection object. And if we go to connection, we will be able to see site to site VPN and the status is updating. So now it's in the process of creating site to site VPN. Uh, well, uh, this is what we need to do at Microsoft Azure site on Azure end. There are still some things or some steps needs to be done at on-premise site on routing a remote access server. So while it's happening here, let's move to our on-premise network. And I go to my routing and remote access server. And one important thing I would like to show you here, I have just one network adapter card and it has an IP address of local network range. It has an IP address of uh, local range, which is 192.168.1.115, local LAN network, and the default gateway is 1.1, which is my home router slash firewall. Just one link. And on my home router, uh, I have configured this IP address as in a DMZ configuration, which means the home router will allow any incoming traffic, which has no NAT rule defined. It will pass that traffic to this internal IP address, which is the IP address of routing and remote access server. This routing and remote access server, it's not a part of domain. It's just simply a server acting as a router. So the first thing first, what we need to do here is to define a routing and remote access service. Uh, routing and remote access service uh, roles and feature needs to be added. And I have already added that just to save uh, time. And now it's time to configure routing and remote access. So I'll go to remote access management. Just give me a second. Yep. As you can see, this is the remote access setup wizard. You might be able to see something like this. Uh, routing a remote access. This is very familiar wizard to you. Uh, you can go either this way, that way, or this way. Like for example, if I go back to the server manager, you can see open the getting started wizard for 
routing and remote access and it will give you another wizard so which way you go as you can see this is one of the wizard here for those of you who have a version with experience with previous versions might like to go this way routing and remote access in here I can go to configure and enable routing and remote access click next I will choose secure connection between two private networks that's what we want right side to side IPsec next and we want to create a demand dial interface to access remote network and choose automatically here and next and routing remote access service is trying to enable and it starts as well as uh, it launches a demand dial interface and and here the demand dial interface name I will say Azure site to site VPN connect using virtual private network is selected next this time we, we because we use IPsec so I will say Ike version 2 IP address of a gateway here I need to specify the public IP address of Azure gateway which is a virtual network gateway we define in Azure portal this one so if we go here the public IP address this is the public IP address 50 okay so let me just record it real quick so one eight two so let's go back to so fifty two dot one four seven dot Fifteen dot one eight two. Next, route IP address on this interface. Make sure it's selected. No need to select other checkbox. Here we need to add routes, and we know we want to go to one ninety two, one seventy two sixteen. Actually, anything after that with. Anything belongs to 172.16.xy.z, we want to route through this interface. So our metric is one, has priority. So we add this aesthetic route. And here, under the username, we can say, for example, Azure. Next, finish. And if we see, this demand dial interface is configured one more thing we need to do we go to the properties here and the security and here the, we need to define the pre-shared key that we defined in azure as well so one two three four five six seven eight nine zero i think what was that uh what was a shared secret key let me just just make sure the key that we added uh, connection shared key shared secret key okay so we go to Shared secret key. Done. Now we will wait for Microsoft Azure connection to be ready, and I think it's not yet ready. Um, uh, da -da -da. 
Okay. It's saying connecting, so maybe it might be ready. Let's so let's 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 oh succeeded. Congratulations. So it's ready. So once as you can see it's saying succeeded. So let's go back here and refresh our and yes, it is connected. So congratulations. We have successfully established site to site VPN between Microsoft Azure and on-premise network. So if we go, go to IPsec, general, and this is to show TCP IP information. Here it shows a diagram and the TCP UDP connection request and ICMP traffic and all that that's been exchanged this is great and now what we need to do uh, connection is established so what we need to do next we need to make sure we define an, another active directory site that based on the subnet of Microsoft Azure in our active directory and then we will provision a virtual machine uh, on in Microsoft Azure, and we will then provision that machine as uh, additional domain controller. So that we'll do in next video. Or stay tuned. I will just pause it, and I'll be back, and we will proceed with that. So take it easy.